Ooh, ooh, ooh. You went 14 and 68. Go away. I want to know how it's 2.20 in the afternoon and Troy Weaver's still employed. And is this the most hopeless situation in all of sports? We'll get to Javi Baez at three. We'll do a little football before then. David, ticket text. What do you got? I'm waiting, so I'm, I, want, I want the news. The fact that Troy Weaver drafted Killian over uh, Tyrese Halliburton, he should have been fired immediately. Okay, no, but thank you for participating. Someone else is saying, uh, Tony from McComb actually is saying, this is the easiest firing in sports history, and Gores wants to get Troy a babysitter instead? Makes no sense Think about me. that. When has it ever been more obvious to fire someone? I mean, yeah, we have I mean, no we have no war chest. Still owe the Knicks a pick. We have a roster that's in complete disrepair. There's no hope. You've actually lost more games now than when you first got here. So you didn't improve. This is you you cannot allow this man to make another pick. 20, 23, 17, 14. Because, oh. because right now. There's only one pick that anybody else in the league really wants that you had cut. They, they would cover it, and that's Cade. And I think we're probably overselling what Cade you'd get back in return. Yeah, I, I think the realistic return is you call a team like the Spurs and you get a couple first-round picks and maybe a rotational player. Like, you're not getting five first-round picks. The fact that he's... He's extension you, 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 eligible, you, Rico. Yeah, you're going to get... You're going to bring in... You're going to keep Troy and what, bring in what, a supervisor for him, somebody, a buddy, a conciliary, somebody he can bounce ideas off of? This franchise has no idea what they're doing because the owner is a space cadet. <laughs> Tom Gores and Troy Weaver are driving me away from being a Pistons fan. That is Trevor from Davis. I, I have news for you. Tom, expand this. Tom Gores' stewardship of this franchise has alienated a generation of Pistons fans, because I hate to break it to you. If you were 16 years old in 04, and that was the glory, your formative time in life, and the palace was rocking, by the time you were 19, it was all over. You are sitting here now as a 40-year-old or a 38-year-old grown-ass human with a family and a mortgage or a life, a career. You haven't seen Anything worth watching in a minimum of 15 years. You've lost a generation in your Bobby Bottle Service dress shirts and T-shirt cannon. That's pretty sad when you put it that way. Well, that's what right. I'm here to do. You're right. Someone says, restore the restore. That's the Pistons motto for next year. Another person, David Madison, I says, I used to be a huge Pistons guy. And uh, I don't even watch the NBA anymore because the Pistons are so bad. And Troy Weaver, a man who has architected a grand total of 72 wins in four seasons. I believe that's the number. 20 and 23 is 43. Add 17 to that. Well, that's 60. And now what do you got? Oh, 14. 74 wins in four years. Christ, the Celtics have like 70 this season. Come on. Go to Brandon, 97.1. What's up, Brandon? How are you? Man, Mike, I'm I'm mad, man. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna look. I think we got the Bill Davidson curse, man. This team is unwatchable. There's no hope. I I man, I ain't never never thought in 15 years that the Denver Nuggets would be better than the Detroit Pistons. Like I didn't see that coming. There's no hope, man. We, this is not a free agent destination. There's no, I don't even know who's in the draft. Who, who, who's number one pick? Or, I don't the number, even know. I, well, I, I, the number one pick right now <laughs> is a, a competition between a guy named Alexander Saar, who was Wembenyama's caddy and then went to Australia to play for a year. He's played 17 minutes a night, scoring nine points a night. That's the number oh, one my. pick. He's a center who might profile to be a stretch four. Might. One problem. He only made 18 three-pointers this year. That doesn't give me oh. great hope. Mike, there is no hope. This is the worst organization in sports history. You get an owner that wants to be friends with the management. That is ridiculous. Look at look at uh, what he did with Casey. He brought in Monty and said, oh, Casey, we're going to have you a 
role within the organization. Like, dude, come on, fire some people. Get somebody in here that know what Detroit basketball is all about. Because this is a circus, and it's not going to get better, man. I'll tell you this. Go ahead. No, I just – Brandon, what you're bringing up, I need to see it, and I don't care if it's a Zoom with the Christmas tree up like we got at Christmas. Tom Gores owes people an explanation now. You said major changes were coming. Where are the major changes? And if it's bringing in a babysitter for Troy Weaver, because that's the equivalent of handing a machine gun to a baby, you owe an explanation. That It's ridiculous. Mike, Mike I'm going to go ahead and say this. If, Troy Re- if they want to sell some tickets, they might as well draft Bronny James and have LeBron come here and bring his friends. That's the only hope. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it Brent, might be a one-year writer, help us but hey, at least. Brandon, it's, it's bringing Draymond here. That's what they're going to do. Oh, no, don't say that. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I just threw up with no Brandon. Hope, it was like synchronized swimming. We threw up at the same time. To put it in perspective, uh, you talking about this, 74 games, four years, you think back to the Bulls who won 72 games in a year, or the Warriors when they won 73 games in one year. It took you four years to eclipse those two records. Tom is up next, 97.1. Tommy, what's going on, buddy? My greetings from Utah. How you doing, man? What's hey. going on? Um, I am completely blown away by this absolute travesty that passes for a basketball team. So I did some digging and I did some research. Okay. Um, there are two other franchises in all of NBA history that have matched this awfulness of 14 and 68. One of them was the 1982-83 Rockets. Okay. Three years later, the Rockets had 51 wins and they were in the NBA Finals. We know damn well that ain't happening here. No. No. Think about what it would take for this team to get to, say, 36 victories. To be a fringy, bad play-in team. I mean, Tom, what's the pathway to it? You're going to extend Cade and you're going to sign Tobias Harris. Then you're going to draft a 19-year-old from France who won't be ready to play for three years, and that's if nope. you win the lottery. That That's what we're doing? That's the plan. I don't believe I don't believe it's going to work, and, I, and, and my humble opinion here is the, the way Mr. Davidson, who owned this franchise for forever, Bill Davidson, my father worked for him, his, one of his companies way back in the day. He's put over in his grave so many times to count. He could build his own damn Ferris wheel. Well, and especially, especially having this embarrassment of an owner take the team away from Auburn Hills, take the team away from that arena, and put it downtown next to people that Davison would never do business with. Yeah, that's like the ultimate personal affront. Yeah, and this team is so bad you couldn't put together wins in a in a league where two thirds aren't trying. No, no, but two thirds of the teams make the playoffs. Oops. Two-thirds make the playoffs, whether you like it or not, with the play-in little tournament. Ten teams make it. Five teams don't. And we're saying, can you at least get to 36 wins and maybe be the fringe team? Like, it's set up that the entire NBA season is a play-in tournament. Well, we'll keep checking back to see when Troy Weaver gets launched into space because he's still employed. It's truly, it's, it's incredible. But then again, is the owner awake? Has he risen from his slumber today? Maybe he's doing laps in his 800-foot pool in Beverly Hills. I don't know. Hanging out with the Chauncey family. Oh, he's moving <laughs> the community. Little Bobby Bottle Service shirt over brunch. Sure. Hey, how's the, who won the match last night? Tom, we got blown out by the Spurs.